Right, hello bees. Here's another sunny day here at the Apiary in Bulgaria. And today we are going to be doing something different and I thought I'll make this little video and introduce you to something we call a Hanuman cage. So what this bad boy basically, you know, serves the purpose of is to effectively isolate the queen in only one corpus or one box in which you would like her to stay. In our case, given the system of, um, you know, beekeeping that we're using, we need to basically, now that the queen's gone up and, you know, most of the bees have um, prepared the ground for her to lay eggs, now we need to effectively push the queen into the first box. And this will be her, well, how to call it, her laying ground or let's call it the maternity ward yeah so that'll be the maternity ward and going up it will be basically frames filled up with just pollen and honey all right so now what the task is for today is because we've got a mixture of different frames some with honey some with pollen some with honey and pollen and some with brood right so the idea is, is that we now need to do this separation so any any frames with brood in the upper corpus I'm gonna go down at the bottom and any honey frames from the bottom I'm gonna go are gonna come to the top all right so we always start by lifting up the back side and we put in a little bit of smoke that smoke is gonna go is gonna make the bees go down the frames and also get off the get off the feeder so we minimize any potential accidentally Squashed bees. I'm gonna give them a little shake. There we go. Hello, girls. All right. <clears throat> right. Let's see what's going on here now. These gloves are so uncomfortable, but very necessary. Okay, so that's one of the last frames I've given them to build on. They seem to have done a really good job. It's just they haven't really used it for anything as of yet. Because I've taken a little bit of honey out of these guys. Because they were just way too full. They didn't have enough space to, you know, do anything else. Like everything was stored up with honey. That one, they seem to have almost completed its building up. So the first task, the task is right now is just check the second corpus, see what we got there. We've got a little bit of honey on here, some more fresh honey on this side, okay. We, we're not looking for that. What we're looking for is essentially brood. That is what we're after. Oh, this one is very heavy. Oh no, there's a ton of, there's a ton of honey over here. There's no point looking at it. We know exactly what that is. Let's see, that oh, one's a little bit light up, but still quite heavy. Yep, you can see the shiny honey right there. Yeah, plenty of honey on here as well. So this is normally what they would do. They would store the honey as far away, um, you know, as possible from the entrance of the hive. It's because they know that the season of robberies is gonna come soon and naturally, they just put away their goodies as far away from the entrance as possible, as I say, you know, to, um, you know, give themselves the best chance of preserving their, you know, sweet honey from any potential intruders from neighboring hives. There we go. I can see some brood over here now. All right, let's see how many frames of brood we've got. Okay. So this one's got a nice chunk of brood over here. If it's got brood, then there is a chance that the queen might be on here as well. So we are gonna have a little look, see if she's around, because if we know exactly where she is, then that is gonna make our lives a lot easier, wouldn't it? Um, nope, cannot see her here. But okay, so we've got one with brood that needs to go down. Let's see if we got any more. Nice and easy. Yep, can you see that in here? Can you see these little larvae? 
and there is eggs on the side as well so the queens laid eggs in here so if, they're f if they are freshly laid that means a higher chance of the queen being around this is how you look for the queen you don't really pay much attention to the frames with like honey and stuff it's really where the brood is she's not interested in the honey she doesn't feed herself she, all she does is just lay eggs so this is where you look for her everything's been served to her on a silver platter pretty much literally she goes around doing her job and the bees just follow her around you know providing like pollen honey whatever she might need water and it's uh it's pretty much it's pretty similar to you know these marathons right and you'll have someone with a bike or a car going alongside the person making sure they got everything they need wow a whole bunch of brood over here fantastic beautiful and now we look for the queen Will we have the pleasure to meet her? Where are you, girl? Of course, that is heavy. Where is she? Mm. Nope, I don't see her now. She might be. She might be downstairs. But we'll find out shortly. So now we've got three frames of brood over here that needs to, needs to go down so far. So let's just have a quick look at the very end one. It should be just a honey one, but sometimes they would lay. Ah, they've done something down there. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what they've done. Okay, she's laid eggs over here as well. <coughs> Interesting. But we need to give this this one a little clean up. <coughs> They've been a bit messy. Nope, cannot see the queen. If we can't see the queen, we need to we need to clean this one up. The easiest thing you, need, you can do is go above here and give them a little shake. That's it. Now we've got a lot more space clean up these little freestyle honeycombs they've done because they affect my work and ultimately are pretty useless to them okay nope one went accidentally Oh, okay, so she survived, flew off. Okay. All right, beautiful. So now we've got these four that need to go down, right? So we remember. Okay. Now we need to check, before we move these guys, we need to check what the situation is with the lower corpse. So move these ones back. All the way back there. So, because right now, you know, the main source of food for the bees is gone, they will revert to robberies. So, keeping a beehive open for an extensive period of time is a very dangerous job right now. So, what we're going to do is, whilst we are toying around with the first corpus, you know, the bottom one, hang on, let's just slowly push them to the side. There we go. What are we going to do now? Oops. Gonna. Ah, oh, that's going to be heavy. There we go. Let's just move this one aside. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna place them on top of a beehive, and I'll show you why. The reason why I place them on here, on a flat surface, is because we want to close the, the, the bottom bit in case of any thieves wanting to come over. So now they can't enter from the bottom, nor they can from the top, as I'm closing them up. <coughs> and now 
I'll come back to this. Oh, monster. All right. Come on, girls. It's time to fly off. It's time to buzz off. All right. There we go. Good, girls. Uh, where did I... Ah, oh, here he is. I'll come around this side as it's in the way of the sun so you guys will be able to see better. Yeah. Why are you always coming back out? Ah, just chew here. There you go. Oh, so uncomfortable with these gloves. So we unglue the side and then we grab this one. Yeah, I can tell you're a bit nervous, guys. Don't worry. Okay. How much pollen we've got here, eh? Beautiful. That goes back. Right here. Ooh. Look at them. Why do you keep coming out? You're only making it harder. And longer. Come on. What do we have here? We have a ton of brood. Fantastic. Wow, they've got a lot of brood going on down here. So they've got four frames up there. We've got one here, another one here. Did you see this beetle? What are you doing, bro? That's weird. He wants, he wants some of that honey. Everyone wants some of that beehive honey. Look at him. Right. Again, brood. So far we've got two frames. This beetle is joking right now. I bet the bees will beat him up if he tries to come in. Look at him, he landed on there. That is a first for me, guys. Right, we've got here. Got a little bit of brood. Not quite. No. Did you see this? He just came over here and the bees are now trying to trying to get rid of him. That's insane. Wow, okay. Oh, damn it. I got a job to do. And something so entertaining decides to happen right now. Wow, okay. Ooh. Oh, there's a bunch of brood over here. Oh, sorry, I mean honey. That is heavy. That one's gonna be going up. What else we got here? Mm, okay. Not that much. Right, that's honey as well. I would have thought the last three they won't have brood. If 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 you stop laying up to about here, then chances of having brood over here on these frames, the, you know, the edge ones are very slim. Let's see, again, just have honey. Nothing much going on. Let's see this one. Yeah. I've given him this frame to to build in it, but they seem to have ignored it because they haven't felt the need. But what they would normally do, they will, they will restore it. I had to cut out this bit. They will build it up when they feel like it. And becomes perfectly usable again. Alright, so. Okay. So what we established is that we've got up to about here. This is brood. Hang on. Let's have a look at this one again. Is that brood? No, that started. Okay, the honey. 
ones. So up here we've had how many? I think we I think we said four. I think we had yet four with broods that need to go there. So we need to choose four to make a swap with, right? Okay, so assuming this is where the brood is over here, okay? Put it back very nice. Fortunately. We need to get rid of these bees. Come on guys. I don't want to squash you. You're making it very hard for me today. This is a problem you have with big hives, you know. There's just bees everywhere. Here we are. I think there was some brood over here as well, wasn't it? Yeah, there is that whole bunch of fresh brood, which I think I'm actually going to nick and move it to one of the hives down at the south end of the apiary. Yeah, I might actually end up doing that, you know? Righty, okay. Well, we need to start the transfer process now. Okay. The worst part. This is where it gets the most dangerous. Okay, firstly, let's get these guys out. All right, quick look for the queen. Can't see the queen. Okay, you go off, guys. All right. So. one is another honey frame yep okay oops come on just stay here you see this is another use for these bed frames that we've made and now that we've opened up a little bit more space, let's get these guys coming. Okay, let's get rid of them first. Come on. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Don't make it hard on us. So I'm gonna move the edge one, which has the you know the lowest chance of having the queen in it. And there we go. I'm just going to move this one to the side for the time being. So it gives us a little bit more space. So we make sure we don't squash any, any innocent bees in the moving process. There we go. Ooh, blimey, that is heavy. It's got honey, but it's got a ton of brood as well. So this is the side it's in. So that's how it goes. There we go. You go back in here. There we go. But this side doesn't match with the other side. And it squishes the bees in the honeycombs. Okay, well this frame will stay like this, but that's fine. They'll reform it. Yep, we've got honey, we've got brood on here as well. Here we go. Then this one used to go. So I've got two, and I've got five, seven, nine. Uh, these guys need to go up. Oop. I almost tripped over. Here we go. Right, nice and slowly. They need to rework these frames. So now we've got what? So we've got three, six, eight, ten. And I think we've got one more. So that one needs to go. Come on, girls. It's time for you to 
go to your new house. I don't have to shake you off because you're not that many. I'm just going to move you straight away. Pull this shit to the side. And we take these gals. Come on. And we place them right in here. Here we go. Nice and easy. Right, so now we have a problem. A little, little problem. As you see, the honeycombs, they were different in the other box. So now the honeycombs, they are very, very close to each other. And they might be squishing some bees inside up until the point they actually reform the tunnels in between these ones here I'm talking about. So up until then I'm going to have to squash them up a little bit. Now we're moving this entire lot. Here we go. Up to the point where they can still maneuver around. You see we leave some space. And now we're going to see if we're going to be able to bring back the entire... Actually, I think it'll be fine because I want to nick that one to make another family stronger because these guys, got, they've got a lot of brood. And see you later, alligator. This one is coming with me. I'll give him a little smoke. They'll come off by themselves. And whoever doesn't come off voluntarily, he will be brushed off. This is horse hair, very soft. It doesn't hurt the bees in any way. What are you doing around my hand? Get out of here. Now I see they want to keep coming back on it. So what we do... Separate box. We've got sitting ready. There it goes again. Now we close it off. That's it. This is the Honeyman cage. We're about to use it now. So now, because these frames they need to get adjusted now so, so instead of 10 frames this beehive is now only going to have 9 frames for the time being what we're going to do I'm going to space them out a little bit like this Sometimes you have to do that because otherwise the cost of not doing it is just too great. If you don't give the bees enough space to move in between then you're going to prevent a lot of processes that need to basically happen in the hive. And if you are being in the way of that then you know, not doing much good for the girls. Here you go. So we space them out now. So now, where's my smoker? Ah, oh, there you are. These guys, we need to make them go in between the frames because now we assume that the queen is in here. Okay, and we place this bad boy. Yeah, as I say, these are very good ones. They don't rust, they don't deform over time. I've got one of the best quality cages we can get. And now, basically the other bees, they can sneak through, but the queen can't. Uh, where is it? There we go. Now, I see we've got this little bit of space here on this side. We're going to slowly move it. Alright. And these cows are going back in. So many bees. That is such a strong hive. Okay. And here is the last one. Here we go. Whew, now we're going to have to lift up this heavy bad boy. Blimey, that 
is heavy. Okay. That's perfectly placed. Now you see these guys flying right on the top. These are most likely potential intruders trying to invade. Now I'm gonna smoke them off. So the bees that belong to the hive, they'll go down in between the frames. And anyone from the top trying to come in, I'm gonna smoke them out and put the top on. That is it. So basically now, because there was just so much bees in here and trying to find the queen is gonna be an absolute nightmare across the two corpses. So what we do now is like literally in about a week time, I'm gonna come back and check the second corpus. If I don't find any eggs in here, then I know for sure that the queen is in the bottom one that I've uh, moved up this time around. But if I come back and I find eggs over here in this one, then I know that the queen is certainly in here. And I'm, this is the point when I'm gonna have to go frame by frame, looking for the queen and then extracting her from here and moving her downstairs. So that's it. I'm just gonna get these guys that we've stolen and put them in one of the hives down there which I which I you know feel like is you know weaker and could do with just a little bit of help. Alright guys well hope you're having a good day. See what I'm talking about? They're gonna try and invade now but soon they'll realize it's all closed off and this is a very strong family and they cannot do anything to it. Just gonna smoke them off and close it all up. That's it. We're done guys. Have a good day. I'll speak to you soon.